is exactly how these matches over two legs should really be because the uh, home team did its job in the first leg. Now they're here in the away leg. Are they good enough to hang on to the lead that they got in the first match? I think it will be tough for them. They're strong at home here, these teams. So I think defensively they're going to be uh, right at it. Schalke playing this game today against Ajax. It's an open game, but maybe these two guys might have an influence on it if they're absolutely on top of their game. Yeah, these are the kind of players that you pay the big bucks to because they're match winners, they're game changers. So, interesting to see if that happens here. Schalke's lineup today. Ralf Berman starts in goal. Holger Badstuber plays with Benedikt Herbides in central defence. Leon Goretzka starts, a player struggling for four. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. are going to line up like this. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. We were here for a Champions League final in 2004. Porto, when it was the first really unveiling of Jose Mourinho in the Champions League stage, he won the UEFA Cup as it was the season before and he uh, took his bow and bowed out. It's a lovely ground, I must say, enjoy visiting it every time and they get really good support here in this working class area of Germany. In charge of today's game is Ernesto Colombano. Ajax have kicked off here. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. In with a chance. Well, he put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp, right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he could blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. Just to remind you of the aggregate score, 2-1. Sanchez. The attack now from Ajax. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Clever little back heel. And here's the shot. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And that'll be behind for a corner for Ajax. Private game between the two of them. Here's Stombuli. Now Stombuli. Taking it well under pressure, probing away, trying to find the break is definitely on. Shots on here. He sliced through them, sliced them apart. Guys just got overexcited there. We all thought he was going to score. <laughs> 
Johannes Geis. Yuchida. Schalke setting off on attack. They've got a great understanding, this team. Just look at the passing. Geis. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Yuchida. Here's Stombouli. Herbides. Holger Badstuber. Johannes Geis. And it's an attack now from Schalke. Great passage of passing play there. And in comes the header. Well, what a good goal that is, and it's even Stevens, isn't it? You just can't split these two teams. We could be heading for extra time here, Martin. Well, here we are in the second leg, and that goal puts them level on aggregate. Well, there's been not much to split the two teams over the course of this two-leg tie. I can't see much out there now. Level on aggregate, 2-2. Sanchez. Traore. Klaassen. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Doing well to keep the ball. That's a free kick. He's not going to recover, I'm afraid, Alan. There's going to be a substitution here. No, no way that he is going to be able to carry on, and that's a, that's a blow for the team because he's an important player for them. Herwardes. Guido Bergstaller. Trying to thread it through here. Got to be. The defenders managed to get in the way there. They're marking as tightly as they can. This corner could be a problem. They've got to defend it well. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Well, still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. It wasn't a great cross in truth. It is a corner, and they're going to have to defend it. And the corner dealt with pretty straightforwardly. Well, many of you watching this will have had your own views about which team was favourite to get into the semi-finals. We still don't know, do we? We're at half-time in the second leg of the quarter-final, and it's still level on aggregate. Yeah, this just could come down to a, an individual error by a defender. It'll be heartbreaking if it does, but uh, it's got that feel about it. Referees uh, all set, and it's Schalke to start the second half. Guido Bergstaller. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. 
here's the cross. Going to try his luck. Very good stop here. And here's the shot. And the ball's in. It's a goal. Well, what a precarious situation this is now. Who can call a winner? Because if they do concede a goal, now they're out on the away goals. How about that goal for sheer class? Well, that's all about anticipation and just snapping up the rebound. It's 3-2. And Ajax on to the attack again. Substitute coming up for the away team. Through pass. And shoots! Wonderful save. Ajax's corner. We are going to see a substitution now. <laughs> the corner goes straight to the opposition. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Good football between these two, nice passing. Shot off! Shot blocked here. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. And he's threaded the path through neatly. And it didn't cause too much confusion, that cross in the end. Defender to it first. Well, he took no chances there, it's a corner. Ajax have a substitute ready. Well, the corner is dealt with decisively by the defenders. Action on the Ajax bench, there's going to be a change. I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary, it's gone the other way. Yeah, it has, it has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that because the one side has been knocking the ball about nice and crisply, the other one's been checked. And here's the header. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. minutes of the 90 still to play well that's in the remit now of the referee Players... not encouraged to put the ball out it's stopped because the referee says this player needs some treatment it's got to go off with that injury a substitution will now follow. And it might just mean a change of formation as the manager just tries to make sense of that change. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes.
now Stombuli. Football is a passing game, and goodness me, they're passing the ball around the opposition beautifully here. Yeah, there's been a good tempo to it, good movement off the ball. And... A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Anticipating the pass. Herwardus. Here's Stombuli. It's a poor touch and the possession's gone away. Klaassen. In comes the challenge. Schalke trying to attack now. Stombuli. And now the shot! The shot gets blocked. And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. Take off the forward. Forwards, as often is the case, being substituted. One goal, he might have thought with the time left he might get more, but uh, he's happy to get the one, I'm sure. Yeah, and it was a well taken goal and a really good performance from him, I thought. Really solid. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Marcian Huntelaar is coming forward with some danger. Shots on here, he's reached it and turned it aside. There'll be a signal here at the corner. Two teams.